everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed, blessed day. Um, okay, so this word, um, I knew he was going to have me um, deliver a word. I didn't know which one though. Like, um, so I was like, I'm just going to show up, Lord, and then you take over, right? Um, and so right now he highlighted a dream I had um, and he quickly gave me scripture and so I'm like okay and I don't have much time I have like 15 minutes to do this um, but um, it's his timing he'll take care of it it'll get done okay so in this dream this is Canaan's spouse it could apply to other things okay but for me in the dream it was specific to kingdom spouse um yeah but it can definitely be applied uh to other situations okay so here this is august 4th um 8 4 24 that i had this dream um and i was with um a man Canaan spouse that's all i'm gonna say right um and we were in a church building we were in a church building and he was standing at the pulpit okay like he was getting ready to preach he was getting ready to share a message okay um and at the pulpit um there was a it was like a counter okay and on this counter he was behind it and I was in the front and I was organizing the things on the counter. I was like helping uh, helping him set everything up, get ready, right? And um, there were six tubs of Clorox wipes, like the disinfectant wipes, right? It was like six tubs and they were all scattered on the counter. And so I got them all and I like organized them. Um, and then um, I turn around, right, to look at like the audience, right, like the 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 seating and 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 stuff. And there were no seats, like no seats. Um, it was a huge, huge bed. Huge, like it filled up. It was just one bed and it filled up the whole audience section, like where the people all sit down. Um, no chairs, it was this huge, huge, huge uh, bed. It was a mattress. Um, and I see uh, his family uh, laying there on the bed, right? And they had uh, my baby. They were, they had my baby and the baby had fallen asleep. And so I get, you know, the baby that I'm always carrying around. <laughs> so the baby, um, yeah, the baby uh, had fallen asleep with his mom. Um, and so I get her and I put her on the counter. Um, and then, um, uh, he tells me that he needs water, that he needs something to drink. And I was like, oh my goodness, yes. So then I go out uh, to get him water and I had to exit the building. And as I'm exiting the building, I see like this huge crowd of people um, that are walking in, that are going to go into um, the, the that building where, where we were at, where he, where he was we were getting ready he was getting ready to uh to share a message and then um i enter this other building um to look for water to get him water and i end up in this room and it was um like it was so weird <laughs> this room it was a bunch of men and so it was like Somebody was at the front. It looked kind of like a very, very small, um, like a conference. Somebody was up at the front, like a couple of them were up at the front, like, like talking. And there was an audience, there were chairs, and it was all men, okay? And 
and then um the language okay the language that these men were using it was like insults and degrading and it was like bad language it was like just like curses right um really bad language um and so I, they closed the doors so then I can't leave like it was like they had started their thing and they weren't letting anybody in or out and so I'm like kind of stuck in this place so I take a seat and then I just hear the language right and I'm just like oh my goodness how did I end up here like what is this and I woke up okay I was just looking for water I was gonna get him water but that's where I ended up okay and so I, I uh, spent time with the Lord on this okay and so um, he gave me revelation he gave me the scripture okay so here it just shows that kingdom spouse uh, you and your kingdom spouse and this applies to men too like you're gonna have ministry together okay you have you share a common purpose okay and this ministry that you uh, that God is entrusting to you okay is um um gonna bring so much rest to people uh that's why the audience like there were no chairs it was this huge bed and a bed represents rest okay uh, and i think of like uh that verse of come to me all who are weary okay um and like people are gonna come uh, into contact with you one way and they're gonna leave completely different they're gonna get to know God's rest okay for their souls like through your ministry okay um, the ministry that you're sharing with your spouse uh, that God is entrusting to you um, God is already and and, th and things are getting ready things are prepared uh, uh, getting um, uh, are being prepared right because I was helping him get ready to share the message and there were Clorox wipes and it was disinfectant so there's a lot of deliverance that's going to happen also a lot of deliverance okay um, yeah and it was six six of them six is the number of man okay so with your ministry people are going um, to be able to deny themselves okay um and really take up their cross and find that rest in god it's going to be so beautiful what god has planned for uh you all to do together for people for his church okay um yeah and so then the baby that i always have now i'm gonna have help now i'm gonna have help uh caring for uh, God's blessings and the ministry and all this stuff right now God like and he has said I'm sending help I'm sending you people um, and so this is part of that okay your spouse um, his family like they're like it's all gonna be um, help right and of course you're helping too like it's all like it's just gonna be this beautiful network of um, of support right iron sharpens iron okay um and i left the baby on the on the counter and so that means that um you have been through uh, many seasons where you know that everything belongs to god everything is god's um so you are living a truly surrendered and submitted um life okay to God with everything that he gives and entrusts you know to lay it down at his feet you know uh to trust him with it okay that he's the one in control okay so you don't worry about anything um yes and so then uh he needed water right um and so he asked me for water and so i'm like okay yes i'll go get you some so i exit the building i see this huge crowd which just indicates and confirms like the amount of people that god is going to send okay um 
that you're going to serve, okay, the kingdom and help so many people, okay? And he's going to send the people. You don't have to really try or or promote or go out and, and look like, no, God is going to send them. God is sending the people to you, okay? Um, so don't worry about growth. Don't worry about all that. God brings growth. All of that comes from God, okay? And so then I end up in this place where these men, and it's like they're just cursing, basically. They're cursing and insulting each other, degrading each other, and all this stuff. And I was like, whoa, like, you know. And so what God revealed there is that um, there are... Um, this is an assignment. <laughs> this is an assignment for you. So God is going to start revealing and imparting. I'm going to get to the scripture he gave me. Uh, and imparting the authority for you to go back uh, and uh, get to the root of things that your spouse is dealing with. God is now giving you the authority. You have reached a level on this kingdom spouse journey where he is entrusting you with the authority to go back into his generations to tear and uproot things, curses, word curses, uh, things of that nature. Like God is showing you, he's showing you like, look, this is still active. Nobody has been able to um, cancel these things. Okay. And God is going like this was kind of specific to uh, me. This could apply to you too. But God is going to start showing you and giving you very specific instruction as to what to do to help your kingdom spouse. Okay. And it's going to go back generations. Okay. Um, and so the scripture that he gave me is Jeremiah 1 10 and this is the message translation uh, starting uh, Jeremiah 1 9 and 10 God reached out touched my mouth and said look I've just put my words in your mouth hand delivered see what I've done I've I've given you a job to do, okay? It's an assignment among nations and governments, a red letter day. And when, <laughs> when I read this right now, just now, because I didn't know what he was going to have me release, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm wearing red today. Uh, a red letter day. Your job is to pull up and tear down take apart and demolish and then start over building and planting okay so that just speaks for itself okay um god is going to is has given you this assignment to speak um to tear down to take apart and demolish all things uh that are hindering uh, your kingdom spouse or anybody right that God shows you um, and has assigned to you um, and he's going you're gonna know what to do you're gonna know what to say okay because God is putting those words in your mouth okay and then you can start over building and planting now it's your it's gonna be your job to speak life okay to speak life and when you do that um, you are building, you are planting seed, okay? And maybe you've already felt like you've done this, but it wasn't time. You didn't have the authority back then. You didn't have the words to say. But now, right now, God is saying, now is the time to do this. Now this is your assignment. You tried to do it. You might have tried to do it before, um, but the time is now okay now it's it's being led by the spirit and not just you wanting to do it you know you wanting to do good now it's like god going to god is going to do it through you because it's his words uh that um you're going to be speaking 
uh, to tear down and then to build up, to plant, okay? And then he also gave me Isaiah 58, 12. And I'm going to get this translation. Um, 58, 11, and 12. Adonai will always guide you, okay? He will satisfy your needs in the desert. He will renew the strength in your limbs so that you will be like a watered garden. Okay, maybe your spouse right now is going through some dryness. Okay, and he's asking for water. He's asking for water and this is how you will bring water into his life. Like through the spirit. Okay. Um... He will satisfy your needs in the desert. He will renew the strength in your limbs so that you will be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails, okay? You are that conduit. You are that connection uh, for your spouse right now in this season um, for him to access water, okay? for God to be able to water him because um yeah that that's just how God wanted it like God wants it to be known that you need each other to an extent not more than you need God but when you're both walking with God like he gives you certain authority and dominion and so uh you reach that level where now you can um help your spouse in this way okay and then verse 12 you will rebuild the ancient ruins from old generations ancient ruins are things of the past okay previous generations raise foundations from ages past and be called repairer of broken walls restorer of streets to live in okay yeah so this is an assignment for some of you to help your spouse okay um make sure this is very important make sure that this either is already confirmation for you or that god confirms this because he's the one that's going to give you instruction he's going to show you very detailed um what it is that your spouse needs help in okay and and he's gonna lead you okay this is something that you need to let god lead you in okay and that was verse uh 11 adonai will always guide you so be attentive okay uh pay attention be sensitive to the spirit open yourself up and say okay god if it's time now um for this assignment uh, to help my spouse then I'm ready I'm listening and if I'm not fully there yet like I'm going through the process and like this might be also God showing you what's coming up next okay um, or what he's preparing you for so that way you stay motivated in your process that way you stayed motiv you stay motivated now so that you know what this is going to lead to okay freedom for your spouse okay uh, because if if God has promised you children these things need to be taken care of before so that then future generations aren't the ones that are having to deal with having to do away with these things okay you really want that to be taken care of before before okay wow so this was quite a word um and i had enough time thank god um it's 4 17. i don't know why i was led to say that 4 17. um so yeah that's it that's it for this word um, I'll put the scripture in the description box and if you're led to so you may do so. God bless you. Bye.